More video requests. Arturo, peace and love to my favorite person in Denver. Keep making vids. Arthur. Thanks, Arthur. I live in Boulder, though. It's not Denver. It's a satellite city, not a suburb. Okay. You method video request. Hey, Kyle, what up, dude? Just kicking it. What's your thoughts on people who cannot be single and always settle for whoever comes along? I find the best thing someone can and do for themselves is to spend a few years being single. You really learn a lot about yourself and you get a lot of self-confidence out of it. Cheers from Australia. From Australia. Well, hello, Australian. Um, well, to talk about this video, <laughs> Um, what are my thoughts on people who can't stay single <laughs> and who always go for whoever comes along? Um, I've never met anybody really like that, but I've, I've seen people like that, you know, like you see somebody, it's usually women who are like this. You see some woman and she's got the boyfriend and then you see her like six months later and she's got another boyfriend and then you see her like six months later or it's like women who are like dating all the time or something like that. Um, well, I think the, the reasons are different from between men and women. Um, when it comes to women, I think it's just so they don't have to get a job. They can just not work and, um, you know, have the easy life. It's really easy for women to do that, especially when they're hot. Um, now, as far as emotional stuff, um, I guess people could be insecure if they don't have, uh, if they're single, they can feel like they're, it's like they've failed in some way. And so, and they're really worried about what people think about them and stuff, so that they would just do it for the show. And, uh, you know, they can go out and they don't have to be alone and stuff. You know, like if you're in a, if you're in a highly uh, social environment, like you're a politician or, or, or high up in some um, multinational corporation or something, you would, you would get the, um, um, you try to get a girlfriend or whatever, or a boyfriend, um, who uh, just for the sake of uh, fitting in, you know, not being that weirdo, because then you would lose your position if you're a little bit too eccentric and stuff. In the corporate world, it's all about fitting in, you know. And so people, I mean, there's people even in the pol political world who, who they're like, yeah, I'll be a politician, you know, hook me up with a girl, and they actually take you to the parties and they hook you, they hook them up, with other um, people who want the same thing. And uh, so, yeah, it's yeah, just, po just professional reasons. Um, now, as far as men, why would men have women girlfriends all the time? Well, maybe because you're horny and you want to be having sex all the time and you don't like masturbating or whatever. Um, where you just... Um, you're just a very social person. You always like being around people. I know people like that, too, who just always like hanging out with different people all the time. Um, and... Uh, you know, it's kind of like there's two different people in the world. There's people who are alone and do their own thing, and then there's people who like hanging out with people and talk about stuff. Um, yeah, I'm a I'm a goal oriented person who I like to be alone, do my own thing. Um, okay, I find the best thing someone can do for themselves is to spend a few years being single. You really learn a lot about yourself, and you get a, a lot of self confidence out of it. Well, yeah, I think everybody should be a use spend a few years being single. I mean. If you've never been single, like, like you always had like your boyfriend or whatever in school, and then and then in the same thing all throughout your whole life, yeah, that's uh, yeah, I would, it would be good to be single for a while, you know. I mean, it's kind of like ha never having a kid, you know. It's like such a basic pri thing about being a human. Like, what would you? I think being single is a basic thing about being human. Um, in a in a in a healthy world, um. You know, in the past, they would have their arranged marriages. They'd marry, marry them together at 14, 15 and stuff. And then they've been together forever. But humans are, uh, you know, we're hardwired to uh, go our own way and think and do creative things and go around. And so we're kind of, it's natural for us to be alone and single for periods of our time. And you can be single and still be married at the same time. You, know, you can be married to somebody and then go off on uh, on a trip or something like that without your spouse and stuff like that so yeah I think it is good to be by yourself but uh yeah that's just what I think about people who cannot be single you know that was kind of like a negative connotation when you're asking it if you cannot be single because sometimes I don't want to say that it's like bad to not be single ever you know there's some people who just happen to not ever be single because they're just so social 
But if you can't be single and you have to be always with somebody, then um, yeah, it's good to get good, good to get out there and you know get a job, get a job, lady. You can take care of yourself, or some dude. You know you can you can uh, you know you can you don't have to be codependent and have have somebody there with you all the time. So that, anyways, that's all I have to say about that.